Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm here to part three of cleaning the data, supposedly. Whew, it's a lot of work. Just dealing with data is a whole project unto itself. It's, I've been here for like 72 hours straight and I haven't even looked at TensorFlow.js yet. <laughs> I'm just looking at my data and all I'm doing is color classification. All right. I kid, I kid a little bit, but it's true, it's true. So this is the third video. I, what I, if, you, if you watched the previous two, I started trying to visualize what the data looked like and kind of examine are there certain users that I should filter out that's bad data. Maybe I should just leave it all in there. Anyway, I'm trying to build a model that looks at a color and classifies it into one of these buckets. And this is my crowdsource system that allows people to look at colors and click on one of these buckets. So this is a little bit about like human perception. Um, what does the eye sort of see in terms of RGB color? All right, so um, the code base that I'm starting with is from the previous video. I'm just connecting to the Firebase database and I am looping through and looking at each record one at a time. Each record has a user ID, which is anonymous. It has an R, a G, a B, and a label. So uh, I determined, you know, not somewhat loosely, I didn't, you know, I really need to spend more time and be more thoughtful about this. Um, there's an extra comma here, that these are the three users that I would like to filter out. So what I want to do in this video, by the end of it, is have a JSON file that I can print if I wanted to, I'm not going to print it, hold in my virtual hands, these are my real hands, um, and uh, use that to actually build a machine learning model from. So all I need to do if I want to filter these out, this is what I did is I made an object that just has those three user IDs as keys, um, arbitrarily uh, with a value of true. And then what I can do is I could say, uh, if, re if, if a filter, if filter does not include this records user ID, and so let's just say let ID equal record user ID, if it's not in the filter, let's make a, uh, let's say all data is a big array. And actually what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it an object. You'll see why in a second that has, uh, I'm just going to call it like entries, which is an array. Then I'm going to say all data dot entries dot push that record. So what I want to do is I want to look at every single data point and I'm, again, there's probably some nice higher order function I could do this in one line of code, but I'm doing this very manually. I'm going to look at every record. I'm going to check the user ID. If as long as that isn't one of my user IDs that I'm filtering out, I'm going to put it in my all data dot entries array. And then I'm going to say, save JSON um, color data dot JSON all data. Now this is a P5 function that will then put this JSON file into my downloads directory. And I, I could be doing this in node and server side. There's no reason for me to have client side code doing this, but that's what I'm doing right now. So let's run this and see what happens. This is my download data script. Okay. A index of is not a function Firebase. <laughs> I don't know. Save JSON. Ooh, okay. So this maybe, uh, let's look at, I, maybe it uh, actually goes like this the data and then the file name. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Yes, there we go. So we can see right here, this downloaded. Now I can take a look at this file. Um, I can open that file up and we can see, there we go. Here is my data set. Hi, this was the shortest video ever. <laughs> so now I have this data set. Hmm. Do I want to, so things that I need to do is I need to normalize the data set and I need to assign the labels numeric values because I'm going to need that for um, what I want to do in, with TensorFlow.js. Hmm, hmm. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I'm going to need to reshape the data um, and turn it into tensors. I'll do that in the next video. <laughs> I might as well just keep sequencing this. So, you know, maybe you could be more thoughtful about, uh, I don't know what, I'm trying to give you an exercise to do at the end of this video. I got nothing for you. <laughs> but you could build an interface for this where you could 
Uh, maybe you could port this to like a server-side script. Maybe you could save it to a CSV file. Those are some things you could try. Um, but I, in the next video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually start working with TensorFlow.js. I need to turn all of these things into tensors because tensors are the thing that I need to, um, to create, to train my machine learning model. Woo. Goodbye. <laughs>